Countif lets you specify a range of cells, look for something in particular, and it counts how many cells in that range match what you're looking for. Now the structure of the function is written down here. You say equals countif, you then provide a range, and you specify a criteria. Now in English language, you could read that as where to check and what to check. So over here we have a simple contact database based around some tradesmen. And I'm going to take you through four different examples just to show you how this function works. The first question here is asking, how many Holden drivers are there? So what we're going to do is to look at column C, which contains the cars driven by each of these people, and count how many Holdens in this list. And it gets written like this. Equals, count if, open the brackets. You can see the screen tip. It's asking for the range and the criteria. So the range is the car range here, C3 to C21. Comma, the criteria, which is always written in these double quotes here, is Holden. So I'll close the quotes and close the brackets. That's my function. It goes off, looks at the range, looks for Holden, and it counts that there are eight Holdens in this list. We can also do it for numeric data, like the next one here is looking at the snack information, the snack column. And what it's asking is, how many people spent more than $30 on snacks? So what we do is we say, equals count if, open the brackets, we look at the snacks range this time, and our criteria, in quotes again, is greater than 30. Now you don't need to put dollar signs if you're dealing with money, just the number is enough. But the important thing is, even though it's numeric, you still have to put the criteria in quotes. When I press enter, there are four of those. How many brickies are there? So for this one, we're looking at the trade column, and we say equals count if, open the brackets, we look at all the trade cells here, so D3 to D21, and our criteria is bricky, again in quotes. So notice every time I'm just putting the range, comma, and then the criteria. Press enter, there's six of those. And finally, if you want to do something a little bit clever with text, we can look at something like the name here and get it to check for anything in the last half of the alphabet or the first half of the alphabet. And what we do is we basically treat it like a number and we say greater than M or greater than D or less than T, those kind of things. And it looks at the first letter and it says anything that starts with a letter before or after that point, count how many. Or if you want to do a combination of letters, like let's say you're after the McCartney's or the MacArthur's, that kind of stuff, anything that begins with MC, you can do two letters if you want to. But to answer this question, we can say equals count if, open the brackets, look at the names, which is B3 to B21. And in our criteria, we say greater than M. And that will pick up any name where the first letter is greater than M in the alphabet. And it'll tell you there's 11 of those. So there's some text and numeric examples of how to use count if. Very simple function, but very powerful.